Hello everyone, in this video we are going to determine the domain and range using interval notation. There's also another video that talks about how to determine the domain and range using inequality notation. I will put the link of that video in the description box below. But let's jump into the definition for domain and range. So domain is the set of possible input values. The domain of a graph consists of all input values shown on the x-axis. So domain are the values on the x-axis. Well, range is the set of possible output values which are shown on the y-axis. Now, let, let, there are some notation that we need to remember when we uh, write the interval notation for domain and range. First, if you get a closed circle, we are going to use a bracket. And a closed circle tells us that that value, whenever it, gets, uh, it has a closed circle on it, it means that it is included. Well, if we have an open circle, the open circle tells us that uh, that value is not included. And we are going to use a parenthesis. Just a reminder as well in this part here with, with the parenthesis, if we have infinity, we're going to take parenthesis for it because um, infinity, it goes forever. It does not end and we don't know what value that is. So we are going to use um, parenthesis. Let's take this first example here. We remember that domain are the possible x values of this graph. So that means when we look at domain, we're looking at uh, the left and right. So let's look at the limit on the left first. Since this is going to infinity, that means there is no limit. So I cannot cover this uh, left side. Well, if I look at the right side here, it stops there. So that means that, that is, this is the limit right here, but this is an open circle. So I can go ahead and cover this. So if we are to write the domain for this, that would be for the left side. We start with the left side. I'm going to use a um, parenthesis for this because it's going to infinity. Again, infinity is part of the open circle. So I'm going to write this uh, parenthesis negative infinity. That means on the left side, it comes, it goes all the way to negative infinity. That's the limit of it. Now let's have the right side of this graph. This is on one, two, three. That's going to be on three, but that's an open circle. So I go ahead and write three with a parenthesis because again, that's an open circle. Now let's look at the range. The range refers to the possible values of the y. So that means we are going to get the limit from the bottom, the limit on the bottom and the limit on the top. So going back here, so I'm going to put this uh, paper up here. So going through this graph, the limit to the bottom is infinity. That means it's not going to end. So remember, if it's infinity, we are going to use the parentheses. So I'm going to write a uh, parentheses negative infinity. This is the lowest value of the y or this is at the bottom. Now let's look at the top here. Let's see where is the limit of this. There you go. So it stops at one, two, three, four. So that's gonna be on positive four and I'm going to use a parenthesis for this since this is an open circle. So this would be the domain and this would be the range of this graph. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. First, for the domain, we're supposed to determine the limit on the left and the limit on the right. So if I were to determine the limit on the left here, so I can go ahead and trace this graph, the limit on the left is on one, two, three, negative three, and that's an open circle. So I'm going to use a parenthesis that's negative three. And then I'm going to determine the limit on the right. So that would be the right value here would be this one right here. So that would be a one, two, three, that would be a three, and I'm going to use a bracket for this because that is a closed circle. Now let's move on to the range. Remember the range is the bottom and the top, so I go ahead and start with the bottom first. So we go to the bottom here, let's see where does it end. So that's the limit, that, that's at negative two. So I am going to use a bracket for this since that is a closed circle at negative two. And then for the top, that would be, I'm going to trace this up here and it stops all the way up there. So that would be one, two, three, four. That's on four, positive four. But then I'm going to use here a um, 
Parentheses, since that is an open circle. Did you get the same answers as this? Good, perfect. Now let's move on to the next one here. Domain, again, is from left to right. So we're gonna look at the limit on the uh, left here. So the limit on the left is one, two, three. So that is, uh, since that is an open circle, I'm going to use a parenthesis that would be on negative three. And then I'm going to determine the limit on the right side. So the limit on the right side here is this one right here. So, but that would be one, two, three. That's a positive three. And since this is a closed circle, I'm going to use a bracket for this. Now let's find the range. The range is from top to bottom. So let's determine the limit on the uh, bottom. So the limit on the bottom here is negative five. Okay, now here's um, here's the thing that I would want you to uh, remember because others are gonna think like, oh, why did you go all the way to negative five when the, uh, when the circle was located on negative three? So just a reminder that uh, a line or a uh, function or a um, graph are all made up of points, infinite number of points. So that means this, there's a point right there. So this is not the lowest value on the y-axis. This negative five is the lowest value. Now others are gonna think, are we gonna use an open circle or closed circle for this? Again, just a reminder, each of the graph are made up or the uh, uh, lines on the graph are made up of dots. So that means this is a closed circle. Otherwise, if it's it has an open circle, then we use the open circle. But uh, again, remember, it has to be a closed circle because that's a dot right there. So the limit on the bottom is negative five. And since we say that this is a closed circle, so then I can go ahead and write this as negative five in bracket. So that's negative five. And then we trace the top here. So let's trace the top values for this, and that is on one, two, three. So that's gonna be on three, and that is an open circle. So I'm going to use a parentheses. Did you get the same answer as this? Good, perfect. Now let's move on to the next problem right here. This time I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. So domain, we are going to determine the leftmost and the rightmost since we're talking about the x-axis. So starting here, we trace the graph. So this is the limit on the x-axis. So that would be one, two, three, four. So I'm going to use a parenthesis for this because that's an open circle, parenthesis negative four. And then I'm going to trace the graph all the way to the right. And since it is going to infinity, so then I cannot cover this. That means there's no limit to it. So I go ahead and write that goes all the way to positive infinity. Now let's look at the range. So for the range, we are supposed to determine the, uh, the most bottom value and the highest value on the y-axis. So let's start with, let's trace the graph. Um, going downward, so that would be the uh, tracing that we're gonna do. Okay, so it goes all the way to infinity. And remember, if it's infinity, we're going to use a parenthesis. So I go ahead and write parenthesis negative infinity. And then we are going to determine the highest value. So I'm not gonna cover the bottom since it goes all the way to infinity. We cannot um, get the limit of that infinity because it goes forever. So for the top here, I'm going to trace this up and this is the highest value on the y-axis. Again, remember that the line or graph or a line on the graph is actually made up of dots. So that's another closed circle right there. So then we can go ahead and say the limit on the y-axis or the highest value is one, two, three, four. That's gonna be four and we use a bracket for it because that is a closed circle. Did you get the same answers as this? Good, perfect. Now let's move on to the next example here. So we have a circle. So we're supposed to determine the domain for this. So domain would be left and right. So we will trace the graph um, um, going to the left. So let's see where does it end. So it ends on one, two, three, four. And then again, remember they're made up of dots since there's no open circle for this, that is a closed circle then. So then we can go ahead and say that this is on negative one, two, three, four. So that's gonna be a bracket on negative four and we trace the limit on the 
right side. So that would be on one, two, that's a positive two. Again, this is a closed circle. So I go ahead and write positive two and then bracket. Now let's look at the range. The range refers to the uh, bottom and the top values. So let's look at the bottom first. So in this problem here, it stops there. So that means this is another closed circle and that is on negative two. Since that is a closed circle, I'm going to use a bracket that is a negative two. And then the topmost value would be at, that's one, two, three, four. That's gonna be at four. And then again, this is a closed circle. So I'm going to use a bracket for this. Did you get the same answers as this? Good, perfect. Now let's move on to the next problem right here. So I'm gonna, we're gonna do the first one together. So let's take this first example here. Now, um, as you can see here, we again, if we talk about the domain, we are, uh, uh, we are going to uh, trace the graph uh, determine what's the limit on the left and what's the limit on the right. So let's uh, trace this graph here. So the limit on the left is infinity because it goes all the way to infinity. So then we can go ahead and say that it goes to infinity, the limit on the left. Now let's see the limit on the right. So if we trace this graph here, oops, now you see there is a blank space in between these two uh, graphs here. So the one that I'm talking about are, I mean, is this value right here. So that's blank. So there's no um, value for X here. So the graph doesn't go through this. So this this pretty much like this is a blank space. Okay. So how do we uh, write the domain and range if there's a blank space? So this is what this example is all about. So in this problem that we have here, we uh, we are going to determine the, uh, the domain of the left branch and get the domain of the right branch. So let's take the left branch first. So the domain on the left branch would, goes all the way to infinity. So that would be an open, uh, that means that we're going to use a parenthesis that's negative infinity. And then it stops all the way to, so that's, this is gonna be at one, two, so that's a negative two. So it's a negative two and this is an open circle. So we're going to use a parenthesis. So that's negative two parentheses. Now let's look at the, oh, so that's blank. We can't, we can't write anything on this because there's no value for X on that. Now, now we are going to look at the right branch for this graph. So this is the right branch, that's the left branch. So from here, the left, looking at this branch, the leftmost. So we're gonna look at the leftmost. So that is located at one and that's a closed circle, which means that I am going to use a bracket for this because that's a, um, a closed circle. So that's a bracket one. And then I'm going to trace the limit on the right side for this branch. So the limit goes all the way to positive infinity. So I go ahead and write positive infinity. So, and again, we use a uh, parenthesis for infinity. Now, this is the domain for the left branch, and this is the domain for the right branch. Now, how do we get the domain for the whole graph? What we do is we use union for this. Union means it's like we combine both of them. So whatever is the domain of the left branch, combined it with a domain on the right branch is the domain for this whole graph. Again, union means like it's a combination of both. So it's a combination of the uh, left branch domain and then the right branch domain. Now let's look at the range for this. So again, for the range, we're supposed to trace from uh, trace the bottom and the top. So we start with the the uh, bottom first. So it goes all the way to infinity. But if you go to the top again, there is a blank space here in between. So there's no y value somewhere here. So what are we gonna do is we are going to do the same thing exactly what we do the domain. So we are going to trace first the uh, the bottom the bottom branch here. So the limit on the bottom branch here is going all the way to infinity. So then we can go ahead and say that is going to negative infinity. And then it stops on, that's gonna be at a positive one and it's a close um, circle. So that, um, we are going to use a bracket for it. And then we are going to trace the uh, upper branch here. So we're done with the lower branch. Let's uh, take the uh, upper branch. So first we're gonna trace it. So the, uh, the bottom part of this uh, branch is on 
one, two, three, four is on positive four. And then, but this is in um, an open circle. So we're going to use a parenthesis on four. And then we are going to go up to see what's the highest value. So that would go all the way to infinity. And that's a positive infinity. We use a parenthesis since that's going to infinity. Now we are going to use again the union. That means whatever is the range on the lower part, added, combine it with the range on the top. That is the range for this whole graph. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so let's go over this. We have here um, the left branch and the right. We're gonna take the domain of the left branch first. So the leftmost side for this branch is all the way to infinity. So that would be a parenthesis, negative infinity and then it stops all the way to negative two. So that's a negative two right there. And that's an open circle. So I go ahead and write negative two in parentheses. Now let's look at the domain of the other one. So the leftmost part for the second branch is on positive one. So I go ahead, that's the limit right there. So I'm going to use a bracket for this because that's, uh, that's a closed circle. So that's bracket on one. And then this is going to infinity. So that means that's going to be a positive infinity. And again, we use a parenthesis for um, infinity. And we are going to get the union for this. That means we combine both of them. Now let's look at the range for this one. So looking at the range, again, range means what is the, the limit on the bottom and the limit on the top. So let's trace the limit on the bottom first. So going all the way down, it goes all the way to infinity. So that means that would be a parenthesis negative infinity. Again, we're looking for the values on the y axis now. So that's all the way to infinity, so we can't cover it. Now let's trace the limit on the topmost part. So that would be, um, so let's see, where does it stop? Okay, so this one goes all the way to infinity. So that means that would be positive infinity. Now others are gonna say, oh, is there like, um, is there, is this area here like uh, missing? Is why is there, a, is there a value for y here? There is a value for y for this. So remember that this is, this This would be the value for the y, this, this would be the value for the y. Now it's very critical here because others are gonna think, look, this should not be included, the negative two, because that's an open circle. Although it's an open circle, but this is covered by this closed circle right here. So pretty much this negative two is actually part of the range. Because again, even though this is, um, open circle, this is not included, but the other side right here covered it up because this is a closed circle. Did you get the same answer as this? Good, perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.